class started here. So I've started the, the video. So just to let you know, this is the um, intermediate class for November the 4th today. Um, and we're going to start off uh, the scales that we were doing were the third exercises on each page. So let's turn to the G scale. Uh, it says page number seven up top. And Just give me a hint what the directions on that one was. So it's... It's, it's a broken scale. One up, one back. Yeah, you're right. Yes. All right, here we go. Open G. just so that we can review it for this week. All right, so here we go. So this is gonna be like this, Terry. Okay, so what you're doing, you're starting off with the open G, and then you're going up and then back to open G. And then you're starting on the first finger on G, and second and third, and then back to first finger on G. Then you're starting on second on G. So it's four notes up, one back. That's right. Three That's starting right. At three notes one, up. two, three, one. Yeah. Two, three, oh. Okay, let's take it from the beginning again. Oh, okay. This is number three. You don't have the scale. So you do a note, you do the next two notes, and then you go back. Yeah, so like this. Kelly, can you see if Kelly, have you got them? Okay, Kelly. Kelly's the friend of the exercises. Yeah. Back. Okay. okay, yeah. All right, so let's take a look at exercise number four. This is what we're doing for next week, but I want to review. Don't announce the fingerings. Is everybody okay if I don't announce the fingerings? Okay. All right, if we're going to have problems with this, then I need to address that because then you will have problems going through and doing what you need to do, okay? Which exercise? Are so we're at exercise four, um, and we're going to, this is a review for next yes, week, okay? Yeah. All right, here we go. So the G arpeggio, number feedback, I find that better. Okay, good. 
Because I can hear better than yeah, I can hear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that makes sense. If everybody's okay with it, that's great. I, I would rather do it that way because yeah. then you're having forced to have to read the music, right? All right. So now we're on page 13 up top. It's the uh, G major arpeggio, and we were doing exercise number 30, okay? So it's three of each note. All right, are we ready? Here we go. on your A. Everybody together? Good. All right. Sounds good. All right. Let's go over to the D scale. And we were doing exercise number seven. That's the third one. And what is this? Uh, so... A second finger on your D. Good, and a third finger on your D. Move it back just a tiny little bit towards the scroll. There it is. You got it. You got it. Okay, here we go. Exercise number seven. <laughs>
going to be um, the new one for this week. Just remember, you can see that we go, and then we have the next three in a slur. Slur, single, okay? So the trick is, because you've got three in a bow, you want to break your bow into three. You don't want to all of a sudden have the first note you're way down by the tip and you've got a tiny little bit for the next two notes. The secret is the note before the slur on this is going to be second finger on your D. You're going to give a whole big bow for that, okay, so that you have enough bow to break it into the tip. So actually bring it as close to the tip as possible so that you have enough for the three, okay? Let's try it. So we're gonna go open D. Big ball on the two. And then up, 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 up. Single ball on everything here. All right, so <laughs> exercise, yeah, so number 15 up top, D major arpeggio, we were doing exercise 38, 38, okay, here we go, open D. <laughs> Everybody, ready? One, two, three, go. Oops, good. Try it again. Okay, Terry, move your finger up towards your face. Towards your face. That's it. Yeah, you got it now. You got it now. Good. All right, let's look at exercise 39. 39. Um, Page 15. My thing is all like. Is it in that order? The, is it yeah, the we're kind of hopping back it's and all going forth. Back and yeah. forth so. That's why I ended up cutting mine out, but okay. then I, I ended up... What number is well, that? Page 15. Page 15. So it's very All right, let's keep on going. So Exercise 39. So 39 A scale. This is the D major arpeggio. This is the homework for this week. Oh, okay. okay, so Terry, it sounds like this. <laughs> It's a broken arpeggio. Two, yeah. Two. Okay, let's try it, everybody, starting on open D. <laughs> Doing exercise number twelve, another broken scale. I thought we were doing six eleven. That's the third one on here. Oh, sorry, you're right. 
There's exercise 11. Exercise 11, because we're doing the third one. That's what we did last week. So, again, it is another broken scale. It's four up. So. Okay, and so on and so on. So, just remember, you're stretching. Oh, I just wanted to say it was nice meeting you all. Yes, you too. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you later. Yeah. I'll come back to the next event. I'll probably see you soon. All Is right. Okay, Dylan, take care. All right, so 11, just remember, third finger on your G, you're going to stretch. Third finger on your D, you're going to stretch. Okay? So third finger on G, over the third line on the star, and the third finger on your D. Same thing, you're going to put it onto the star. All right, here we go. First finger on G. Stretch. for this week. Uh, this is again another broken scale. All right, here we go. First finger on your G. Stretch third. in our Peggio section. So let's move on to our rhythms. So our rhythms are um, butterscotch this week. And did you say you didn't have a butterscotch, Terry? No, but I, I figured it out. Okay. It was butterscotch. Was it just butterscotch? Uh, butterscotch and I like butterscotch mm -hmm. pie. Okay. So it's Terry. It's... <laughs> Oh no, hang on. Butterscotch, butterscotch. Okay, so butterscotch. All right, here we go. So butterscotch, here we go. Good. 
I like butterscotch pie. Ready? And... <laughs> different rhythms that we've done. So you're looking at Mary Had a Little Lamb. You've got Huckleberry, Butterscotch, and Pie for the last one on that line, okay? So just remember when we're doing that, we've got, I'm just gonna demonstrate here. Okay, you've got a slur here, two and a bow. Try that at a little slower pace. Okay, ready? This week is just the first one. All right, let's go over to the seven step polka. So we're now into book two. Okay, book two. page on the seven step polka that I printed off. Um, it's not the same one as what I've just given you. It's actually one that's a little tiny bit more difficult. It's the same tune. Okay. It's the handouts I just gave out this morning. The first one is the seven step polka. Okay. Um, so at home, that's something you can try to just improve your, your uh, music reading skills, okay? We're going to still use the one that's in the book. All right? Well, For today, and then else. after today, we should know this one. Uh, no, um, what we're gonna do, because we've already learned the seven step polka, okay? Um, and you guys wanted something with no fingering. So either here's what you can do. For, for music reading and to kind of improve, um, your ability to play tunes, okay? Um, you can use the one that I gave out today. The one we have, we, it's taken from a certain site. The seven step polka you've got in your book, I actually transcribed that myself. So if it is that you don't want to see the fingerings up top the notes, then um, Aiden just took a great big huge black felt pen and ran it through the, the tops of those and that's perfect. Thanks Aiden for doing that. Okay. I have the pen on me if anyone wants to. Okay. Or they can do it at home. All right. So let's take it from the beginning. Remember, this week, we're going to go through it slow to start with. When we do the repeat, so you'll see the repeat on the third line there, we're going to go back to the beginning and we're going to speed it up at that point. All right. Here we go. So remember, we've got pies and we have pizzas. All right, here we go. So slow to start with.
we're at the second ending there. Okay, Aiden, move your third finger up a little bit towards your face. There it is. All right. All right. So, uh, all right. So that was good. How did we do with speeding it up? Did we do okay? Okay. I couldn't keep up with you guys on the slower part already, so I'm okay. just going to keep practicing. All right. So I'll tell you what. Here is what we're doing. All right. Here's what we're doing week by week. We have now finished the seven step polka, but you have to keep it up in your repertoire. Just to let you know, we have, uh, we are going to be part of, is it a potluck on November 16th? Okay, so November 16th, yes, we have, this is a Louis Riel Day celebration, Ooh. and it's also, so we need all Métis voices, we need every Métis voice involved, so that's all ages, so kids, families, this is a, not only a Louis Riel Day celebration, but it's an enhancement agreement, so it's a dinner, we're co-hosting. So your voice matters. So this is our agreement with so FEMA's agreement with the school district. And so, yeah, bring on, your voices. On and, what needs to be involved in uh, Indigenous education. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and, and what time does that start, Kelly? It, it starts it, it, at 5 and it ends at 8 and it's a dinner. And so we'll work out, I'll connect with Vanessa. Vanessa's going to be here. We're doing inventory after all middle class. Right. So Vanessa will coordinate that day. If we just, I let her know that we could maybe play two or three songs right. just to share. Can we play Thursday. a little bit later not on in the week, evening? Thursday, I'm not Thursday, finished Thursday. teaching until um, 6.30. Okay. Yes, absolutely. I think, yeah, give you time maybe at like 7.00. But yes. I'll, I'll, I'll let Vanessa know okay. if, if you get a chance yeah. to see her. Or maybe what I'll do is I'll cancel my two, the last two of the day and then come. Yeah. So I'll, I'll let you know what's going on there. So All right. Just to bring the Thursday. So the Thursday, Thursday. Thursday after remember. Okay. So what I'm asking you to do, I want you to be able to play seven step polka at that speed. No faster that speed, because this will be one of the tunes that we're going to do as the intermediate class. Okay. So what time does that start at five? Five. Yes. Yeah. The I'm speed we just did right now. Oh, that. Okay. Point in time. Joe, can you read that on your own? That available. Okay. Okay. I'm going to play this because uh, Terry wants me to play this. Just to record it. Just remember, this is on the YouTube channel too. Okay, here we go. playing that two times through because we've got a repeat at the end okay all right let's take a look at Scotland the Brave and at Scotland the Brave we were doing the A and B uh, this time so we finished off the B part last week okay so let's give this a go we will do it at a slower speed okay here we go ready open D
Okay, so what I want you to do for next week on that is I want you to speed it up. Here's the speed. video remember you can do it in settings slow it down and then just increase it as you can all right all right so the next one we did was Mari's wedding okay so as I said I wasn't able to uh, actually run this off at all just remember that if you need to X out all of the uh, fingerings above it just take a black felt pen to it okay now Selena and Val we're doing violin two. How did that work? Honestly, didn't look at anything all week. Okay, no worries. No worries. <laughs> I cannot tell a lie. Hi, girl. That's how you yeah. do it. Yeah, yeah. And you know so what? I, That's okay. That's okay. If uh, I have got it figured out, and I'm getting pretty good at listening to the notes. So mm -hmm. for I've figured out that when I'm starting to like where um, the open D is, like to make sure it's two notes, and yeah, and just kind of keep in track with you right. guys. Okay, so we did just the first part, okay, with the repeat. Um, let's play it together at a slower speed, okay? And then when we do the repeat back to the beginning, remember we've got a part A and a part B. We, we talked about this last week. So the first two lines with the repeat is the part A, all right? Um, so let's get it from the beginning. We're going to start from uh, with a down bow. Open A. Ready? <laughs> part okay so the second part again has a repeat this is the B part okay there's an E4 in it make sure you're stretching a lot for that E4 this All is right. violin one this is violin one part two or the B part
third finger on your E. Third finger on your E. Okay, move your third finger up a little bit more, Selena. Good. Good. Okay, now. Oh, really? My lines must have shifted. I'm right over. Okay. Let's look at your lines afterwards. Okay, let's try the fourth finger on your E. Okay. Yeah, you got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. All right. So for this week, you're going to do the second part. Now, just remember, I want the whole thing done. And this is one, again, that you're going to speed up because now we've finished this one. All right. Let's move over to the next one. So we're only going to do the first half of it. So you're looking at 100 pipers. I'm going to play this for you. Okay, Terry's going to get her recorder out. Okay, here it is, and I will put it in with the repeats so you guys remember to do the repeats. Here we go. <laughs> speed okay again when you're at home slow down the setting okay so that it's at a point that you can do it we're only doing the a part today with the repeat so we're looking at in the key signature over to the left hand side beside uh, beside the treble clef symbol we have three sharps okay so let's see um what they're going for. So the first one on the left hand side is going through the top line. What is the top line note? Note name? F. F. Now, where's the other F? So we've got a high F and we've got a lower F. Where's the lower F? D2. The, well, the second note. Yeah, let's refer to it if we're reading music, okay? The first space, remember? Spaces are F. A, C, E, remember? And the lines are E, G, B, D, F, all right? So all your Fs are gonna be on your lines, both the high one and the lower one. So the second one that you're looking at, the one in the middle, what line is that going through? Well, it's going through the third space. That's Sorry, sharp, yeah, right? you're right, space. What's the space? What's the third space? What's the note name for it? C. 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 Yes, Kelly. So you're looking at that your C's are, so the higher one, okay, is going to be your second finger on your A. That's going to be on your line. Where is the second one? So the second one is your lower one. It's going to be one line below the scroll. Right. Okay. So you're looking at a third finger on your G. All right. Yes. Now, there is no third finger on your G in this tune, but this is just for your music reading portion of it. Okay. So the third one, okay, is going through the top space. So where is, what is that? G. G. You're right. So that will be on the second line of your E string. Okay. Where is the other one? Where's the lower G? There's actually two lower Gs. Where's the middle lower G going to be? Okay. A? I have the answer, but I don't know. It's on the line, it's the second line. Right. It's the second line. Remember, every good boy deserves fudge, right? And where's the low one? The low one. It's two lines below. Okay. It's the open G, right? So that's the one where it's way as low as you can go on the staff, below the staff, 
Okay. It's the third space down, actually. The, the, the second okay. line out of G1. Okay. Let's uh, give this a go. There is no low, really low Gs, so we're not doing an open G. Um, so let me see. Is so there the any... Gs are on the line. So the... Okay. If you're down below, okay, on the D string, it's a, as we're saying, it's a G sharp. That's what we're calling it, right? You're going to stretch that over your third line onto your star. That's where it's going to be found there. All right, let's give it a go from the beginning. And let's do it just really, really uh, slow. Ready? Here we go. line the last note on that the first finger on your a that's the pickup to get into the b part okay so when you're coming around for the second time end it on the open a the the first oh, finger yeah. on your a2 the last note of this second line also uses as a pickup to get back to the beginning okay so your beginning when you're going back to it is going to be the second finger on your a because the first two notes are your pickup to get into the tune. I don't understand what you're talking about. Okay, we'll talk yeah. about it later because we're on video I here right see. now. Okay, so um, all right, so that's what we're going to do for this week. Let's go through um, the homework, and then if you have questions, I'm going to shut off the video. Okay, and then um, we'll, I'll take your questions. All right, so we're looking at, uh, okay. okay, so, so today is, today is uh, November the 3rd today, no, 4th today, so 4th. Let's take a look at our G scales. So our G scale now what you're going to do is you're going to do, um, okay, what were we doing last week? We were doing the third. Okay, we're going to do the fourth exercises, okay, in each of the scales. There's one of them where there's five on a page. Do the next one from what you did from last week, okay? Um, okay. It kind of takes sections. I always write, like, third Third yeah. Exercise so just on just take a look at whatever the. And then you find the pages that say. Yeah. Okay. Count your exercises on your page. So you're looking at if you look at the G scale. Yeah. Okay. You're going to look at. Um, okay. Where are we here? Uh, I don't have that in front of me. Does anybody have that in front of them? What the number is on that? Seven. I think it's going to be yeah. like seven. Seven, fifteen. It, right. Okay. So, what exercise? It the last exercise, Selena, on the G scale. What is the next last uh, exercise? Exercise four. Okay. So you're looking at that. All of them. It's going to be the last exercise on the page. There is okay. one of them that has five exercises on the page. 
do the fourth exercise, whatever that number is going to be. I don't know what it is. Okay. You can figure it out at home. All right. And the same with the arpeggio. You can do exactly the same thing. Okay. Fourth exercise. Okay. And then we're doing the D scale and the same arpeggio, D arpeggio, the A scale and the A arpeggio. And all of those are going to be the fourth exercise on the page. Unless there's five exercises, then you're going to do the one that we uh, didn't do last week. Okay. All right. So then the next one we were doing is we were doing string rhythms. And we were doing uh, Mary Had a Little Lamb. Again, there is fingerings on those. If you don't want the fingerings, take a felt pen and just felt them through, okay? That's the mixed pie. That's right? the mixed pie one. You're right. Thanks, Selena. Mm -hmm. And then we did the seven steps. So that's you're on your own on that one now. But that one but is that start, one, start that one for yeah, practice. Yeah, that's the one you want to definitely practice because that's one we're going to do on November the 16th. Okay? Mm. Yes, the one that's in the book is the one that we're going to do. All right? Yeah. So we worked on Scotland the Brave. And we did the whole thing this time. Okay? So do the whole tune with repeats and I recorded a faster one for you speed it up a little bit okay if you need to go into settings and slow it down uh, to play along with it great and then try to increase it a little bit all right so speed it up a bit number four we were doing Mari's wedding And we did the whole thing on that one. Okay. This is another one, because it's fairly simple, that I would like to do for November the 16th. I think this is doable. Mary's wedding? Mari's wedding. Mari's, Mari's, Mari's wedding. Marie. Yeah. Mari. So complete <laughs> tune. I'm just going to. All right. So. Are we going to do the book one tunes at the thing next week? Or not next week, but. Yeah. Okay. So with uh, repeats. Fiddle one, the whole fiddle one is what I need to know, right? Uh, yeah, fiddle one. Everybody's doing fiddle one, except I think what we'll do is we'll keep it at fiddle one for um, November 16th. I may play the second part just to kind of, you know, make it a little different. If you want to join me, Selena, you're more than welcome. But if you don't... I already have a commitment okay. that evening. But no I'm worries. Try and change it. Yeah, okay. no worries. Mari's wedding is actually too bad. So if you I can get some, make sure to get some practice. Oh. Oh. Okay, I would rather you're on fiddle one. And the reason you're being available. is because you're a strong player. Okay, you're a strong player. I need somebody to leave me. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay. okay. So, okay, so the sec let's um, take a look at the next one. So the next one we did was uh, 100 Pipers. Okay. Okay, so part A with repeat. Okay, I just want you to play it this week. We're not going to speed it up quite yet. All right, this is our new tune for this week. Next week we'll conclude it with the B part. Okay, but for now... That's all you're going to get for this lesson. Is everybody okay with that? Yeah. Okay. That's way more than